Welcome back to the 2020 Victorian Institute of Sport Awards. Today we'll be announcing the Open Universities Australia Performance Lifestyle Award winner for 2020. And we're lucky enough to have Felicity Jeffrey from Open Universities Australia with us today to announce our finalists. Hello, I'm Felicity Jeffrey, Partner Communications Lead at Open Universities Australia. I'm thrilled to be able to virtually participate in today's awards ceremony and be part of the further development of some incredible athletes and individuals. Open Universities Australia, or OUA as it's more commonly known, is Australia's leading online higher education marketplace. And as such, we have always had an interest in supporting those in the community with access to quality education, irrespective of their life stage or circumstance. We found a natural alignment with the VIS back in 2012, with both organisations focused on supporting their talent and excelling in what they're passionate about. For this reason, we wanted to find ways that VIS's high achieving athletes could pursue their academic goals without having to compromise on their sporting careers. That's why over the past eight years, we've supported dozens of VIS athletes with access to a range of academic sponsorships. Today is a really exciting day as we can reveal the winner of OUA's 2020 Performance Lifestyle Award. This award recognises an athlete who has achieved excellence in not only their, supporting, their sporting career, but in their studies, career ambitions and life in general. Whilst today's award epitomises VIS's motto of success in sport and life, the winner has been chosen based on their alignment with OUA's core values, care for each other, continuous improvement, and act for customer, or in this case, act for the good of others. I must say I was blown away by the calibre of finalists for the OUA 2020 Performance Lifestyle Award, and I'm really proud that our award will go to someone so deserving. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce and congratulate the three finalists for the OUA 2020 Performance Lifestyle Award. They are Alexandra Viney from the Rowing Programme, Jemima Montag from the Athletics Program and Laura Peel from the Aerial Skiing Program. Good luck to all these incredible women. Alexandra Viney, rowing. Not too many of us will come out of 2020 with a better CV than we had at the start of the year, but El Viney is an exception. She has shattered two world para rowing records on the ergometer over 500 and 5,000 metres. Al is also completing a Master in Sports Management at Deakin and is in the process of starting up her own small business. A drunk driver may have curtailed her promising rowing career in Tasmania in 2010, but Al's determination and commitment have been recognised far and wide. She's now an AIS Lifeline Community Custodian, sharing her story with people suffering mental health issues and at risk of self-harm. Jemima Monte, Athletics. After a Commonwealth Games gold in the 20k walk and a top 10 world championship placing in 2019, 2020 was to be the year of the Olympic dream for Jemima. But instead of suffering a, a lockdown letdown, Jemima threw herself into her academic work as she looked to complete a Bachelor of Science degree at Melbourne University. She also renewed a commitment to numerous extracurricular activities. Among those, Are You OK Day, National Health and PE Day, Blue Earth, National Tree Day, and in particular, Indigenous Health, where her focus is on communicable diseases. So little wonder that at just 22 years of age, the VIS already regards Jemima as a role model and sounding board for the next generation of elite athletes. Laura Peel, aerial skiing. Although spending much of her life on overseas ski slopes, Laura has still managed to complete a Bachelor of Health Sciences and is currently completing a Diploma of Modern Languages. The dual Winter Olympian had an extraordinarily successful 2019-20 season, winning two World Cup events, which helped her win the Crystal Globe for World Cup overall champion. She's also the Olympic Winter Institute of Australia 2020 Athlete of the Year. Laura is a person who squeezes value out of every moment of her life. She's a role model for and a mentor of young athletes. She also contributed to the AOC Wellbeing Series, completed an online yoga program for people stuck in lockdown, and even donated her prized Olympic uniform to the Bushfire Appeal. 
What a deserving group of finalists. It's great to see our athletes finding really uh, amazing ways to progress and excel in both their sport and their life this year in what has been a, a really challenging and tough year for a lot of athletes and a lot of people. Um, I'm really grateful to be back here presenting the 2020 Performance Lifestyle Award uh, in a year that has been incredibly challenging and, and is probably a very special year for this award that is always a very special award um, but takes on potentially an even more focus and even more importance this year where athletes maybe weren't able to train and compete and had to find other ways to, to excel and extend themselves. So um, I would love to, I guess, acknowledge the, the VIS's proud history and also um, you know, huge focus on this area for a long, long time and all that they do to encourage and support our athletes uh, in both sport and life because um, I think that's what this award means to me and what it, what it means to a lot of us uh, at the VIS. So before I announce the winner, I'd like to uh, again congratulate three finalists in Laura Peel, Alexandra Viney and Jemima Monta. And the winner of the 2020 Open Universities Australia Performance Lifestyle Award is Laura Peel. Congratulations, Laura. Thanks, Mitch, and a big hello to the entire VIS family. I was a bit surprised to be nominated for this award, but of course, very honoured. The VIS is full of some of the most amazing athletes and amazing people. So to win this award is something that is very, very special to me. And thank you to Open Universities Australia. 2020 has definitely been a year with challenges that I don't think any of us would have ever predicted. Um, for me, it actually started off with a bang. I achieved one of my biggest sporting goals, winning the overall World Cup in aerial skiing. And then just about a week later, I was at home doing my two week quarantine and the reality of COVID really started to set in. I think it's been especially tough for everybody who was locked down in Melbourne and of course all the Tokyo 2020 athletes. Um, I was fortunate enough to be able to come over to Europe in June to train with my coach and I'm currently in Northern Finland doing a, an on snow training camp. So a big thanks to the VIS and to the Olympic Winter Institute of Australia for continuing to support my training journey and hopefully our competition season will be starting in just a few weeks. Um, I've been at the VIS for almost a decade now and the VIS has been such an important part of my journey as an athlete but also as a person. Um, since day one they've always valued developing you off the hill, off the field, whatever as well and it's something that I started to realise the importance of probably a bit later in my career. So I'm very grateful for the VIS for being there and, and supporting me through that. And I hope that soon we can all get together and celebrate. But thank you so much for this award.